Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Lucas Monster, and today we got some super exciting Star Wars The Black Series news with two more figure reveals just a day after the Imperial March live stream. I think both of these could have been included in the live stream, but nevertheless, here they are, and they are pretty exciting. Real quick though, before you get into the video, we're actually giving away this Black Series Arc Trooper 5s. It is looking incredible, sealed, pristine, and ready to ship once we hit 13,000 subscribers. Now you do have to be subbed to enter into the giveaway, so make sure you go down and hit the like button, subscribe so you don't miss out, and once we hit 13,000 subs, I will give away this Arc Trooper 5s. Anyway, on to the video. First up is the Yak Face rumored uh, Sith 5 pack, which actually ended up being a 3 pack, and it is called the Masters of Evil, and it will come with Grand Admiral Thrawn, Darth Vader, and General Grievous. So, uh, no Maul and no Emperor, but these are still pretty good looking figures. And I gotta say, there's a lot of things I really like about this set, and a lot of things that I kind of don't either. For starters, I absolutely love the packaging for this. Uh, the box that they all come in looks super clean, super crisp, and definitely gives me more red box vibes with the kind of like uh, gray artwork on the front. Really love how that turned out. And then in the box, there's actually three card backs, which are not like the Retro Kenner card backs, but they're just brand new Black Series card backs, and they look really dang good. I love the black and red together. Super clean, super crisp, and I think the packaging is definitely the highlight of this set. Now, before we get into the things that I'm not a big fan of, we gotta go over the things that I really like. For starters, it is the brand new Thrawn, so it is on that new body with the likeness to the actor from Ahsoka. And he also comes with the literal, like, cat dragon thing that sits on his shoulders in the book and the comics. Don't get mad at me for not knowing the name. I apologize. I haven't read the books or comics or whatever that's from, but I am really glad they decided to include that with a Thrawn figure. Originally, this came with one of the comic book Luke figures, and people would buy that just to get that to put on their Thrawn, so it's cool that this is coming with a Thrawn figure, especially on that updated Thrawn body. Next up for Darth Vader, uh, this is actually Empire Strikes Back Darth Vader, so it does have the butterfly joints and the decent articulation for Vader's. It's not on that Kenobi New Hope body, so that is a huge bonus. Uh, it's one of the best Darth Vader's we've ever gotten in the line, so if you don't have Empire Strikes Back Darth Vader, this might be a great way to get him. And uh, yeah, this was definitely the, the version of Darth Vader you wanted in this set. You did not want the Kenobi or the New Hope. This The Empire Strikes Back is a massive W. And then, moving on to the things I don't like, Grievous, man, they reused the Tardiskovsky Grievous rather than repacking the standard Revenge of the Sith Grievous. I have no idea why they decided to do this. This was a really poor choice, in my opinion. Uh, they really should have done either the Battle Damage Grievous, the Gaming Greats version, or the Revenge of the Sith version, but instead they decided to repack the Tardiskovsky version, which is, like, whitewashed, and it's, it's really cool for a Tardiskovsky 2D figure, but... For a Masters of Evil Revenge of the Sith figure, it just doesn't work, and I, I'm not a big fan of their choice here for that. And then the next problem is actually the price. This thing is $90 for three figures, so essentially you're paying 30 bucks a figure, which I get Grievous is a deluxe figure, he's a $30 figure, but uh, both Thrawn and Vader are $25 figures, so this should definitely not have been a $90 set. I guess I could have seen $80, maybe $85. I think $85 is starting to push it a little bit, uh, but it should have been a $75 set, $25 a figure, and so that $90 price tag is a little frustrating. Now, this set is an Amazon exclusive, and it already went up for pre-order. It was announced, and then like 20 minutes later, it went up for pre-order, so uh, if you do want this set, feel free to go check out Amazon and pick it up. I believe it's still in stock at the time of filming this video, but this is really frustrating that they're going to announce a figure set, I guess, 20 minutes before it goes up for pre-order, because I guarantee there are so many people that wanted this and probably missed out on pre-ordering it, and so that's one reason why this set definitely should have been announced at Imperial March, just because, one, it has that Imperial theme, and two, it allows people to know about pre-orders before they go live. Next reveal is the Walmart exclusive Balin Skull in his mercenary outfit, quote unquote. Essentially, it's just him with a cloak on. Um, this is a cool release, I think. Walmart exclusive is kind of difficult because it's going to be hard to get, uh, but he is $24.99, so a normal retail price for a figure, so big shout out to Walmart for keeping this as a normal priced figure. Now, I will say though, uh, the cloak should have come with the original release, so I guess I'm kind of glad that they're re-releasing this with the cloak so that you can get that cloak for the exact same price as the standard release. You're not paying anything extra for it, uh, but there's still a lot of problems with this figure. 
for starters, I believe he has the red lightsaber, not the orange one. Now, this might just be the glam shots, and they might have fixed this for the actual release. But uh, in these glam shots, it looks like he has the red lightsaber rather than the orange saber. You think that's something they would have fixed. Uh, but who knows at this point. And then the biggest thing is they didn't fix the height. Here's a graphic from Yak Face uh, comparing the two figures, and it looks to be the exact same height, which is a big problem. If they're going to do a re-release, they really should have fixed the height of the figure. That's the biggest thing for me. I, I think Hasbro was, was aware of the height problem, and I think they should have went out of their way to fix it before the second release. And so I've really mixed emotions about this. For me personally, I still haven't bought the original version of Balin yet. And so this one is an easy pickup for me because I'll just pass on that old version of Balin, pick up the one with the cloak for the exact same price. But I can definitely see why a lot of people are upset by this because they paid the full price for that original version and now they want the cloak version and they, they don't want to pay the full price to pick up basically just the cloak. So I definitely see both sides of the spectrum there and it gives me mixed, mixed feelings. But I will say I do absolutely love this figure in that new updated Black Series packaging. The blue Ahsoka really, really stands out, especially with the blue background of the box. I'm digging this, this, uh, this figure and how it looks with that new packaging. So let me know down in the comments below what you guys think of these two reveals. I definitely think both of these should have been revealed at Imperial March, just because they're both somewhat Imperial themed. But, you know, it is what it is. Let me know down in the comments what you guys think, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you so much for watching.